Now, yes, sir. what if uh, I graduate when I'm not 30, and yes. then I don't get to serve or I delay until I'm above 30, and then I come to NYC, can't I be exempted? Timberlin, if you read section 2 of the, uh, I mean, if you read section 13 of the NYC Act, ordinarily, not making yourself available for service is a criminal offense. Not making yourself available is a criminal offense. However, whenever you, you want the NYC certificate, whether you delayed it until you are 60 years old, you must come to South. You huh? must come to South because you graduated when you were below, when you were below dead. Wow. Okay, well. That's the law. That's the law. Okay, I'm just wondering now, um, because this particular case, um, so it's, the, the system has gone through all of those documents, uh, Ogun State, the federal government, the DSS. So does that then mean that, look, there really isn't any penalty, because if they all went through and saw some of this, and so does that mean there isn't any penalty as such for these kind of things? Section 13 of the NYC Act. If you give false information concerning the NYC, you are liable. If you present a certificate that was not issued by NYC, you are liable. It's a criminal offense. Even the, whoever is employing anybody in this country, whether private or government, once once you are coming in to take that appointment, you are supposed to present your NYC certificate, either the certificate of national service or certificate of exemption. And it is also the responsibility of your employer to request for it. That's what the law says, to request for it. So if they request for it, now there are like any other any other society there are some people prior to the time we computerize the nysc and i must give thanks to the past two teachers and the present one on ground these were people who ensured that we computerized the nysc arising from the fraud that was taking place in, in that system people Whereas you have syndicates who are not even NYC staff, but they were there printing NYC call up letter, NYC certificate, and doing all sorts of things. And these gentlemen, these past two past DGs and the present one, insisted that the thing must be computerized. Right now, as I speak, no one can falsify NYC certificate, NYC call up letter, or even the operations, because even for you to register, on camp, you have to register with your thumbprint, biometric. So that aspect has gone. But there was a time when, even in Area 10, they were producing NYC certificate mm. and misleading people, and misleading people, collecting money and doing it. But we have put, NYC has put a stop to that. Okay, Mr. Ani, so, uh, l l let me come in here because um, uh, you have been in the system. Uh, very yes. prominently too, and you know the process is completely from A to Z. Exactly. And just can you categorically tell us that it is not possible for that certificate to have been forged? Or is it a forged certificate? The, the certificate that I saw, that one that I saw, if it is the real one that they are talking about, the one I saw online, if it is the real one, it was not issued by NYSC. I don't know who issued it. It was not issued by NYC. Because what I saw there, the signatory to that to that certificate was our DG who left in January. And General Sika took over from that 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 DG, General Bomoy. General Sika was a sitting DG even as at that September. Uh, 2009. So I, I don't know where the certificate comes from, but what I'm saying is that the NYC, it, it, not, it not NYC, NYC cannot make that type of mistake. The NYC that I found, that I know, can never make that type of mistake. We do the right thing.
Even though you said in the past you, you have uh, come across cases where certificates were forged and then yes. the system has now been sanitized under the past two, or is it the current and the, the past uh, yeah, uh, exactly. DG. So it's yes. very likely that um, the, the processes in the past, we had so many uh, irregularities, no, not, no, the no, fault, no. Not, not necessarily the fault of the candidates themselves. No, 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 no. The process was okay. But you know, because it was manual and because because we had not computerized. People from outside capitalized on it, misleading members of the public, misleading members of, of the public, collecting money and giving certificates. You must have heard when we had fake NYC camp. It existed. It was not the NYC that was. But we had to put a stop to all this through this computerization. So what I'm trying to say is that even members of the staff you have to go to the right place to make inquiry. You don't see anybody standing in NYC office and then you ask them. You go to the director in charge or you go to the DG. I mean, you don't go to the market and then uh, they say, I mean, so that's the this thing. So our system had always been perfect. You know, our system had always been there. But you know, as the core members' population has been increasing and everything, there was need to computerize and there was need to check whatever excesses that have been happening outside the system. Because when they happen, they will just be calling NYC. People will be calling NYC. That's, that's the thing. But that certificate definitely, you know, NYC cannot write that type of certificate. Well, I, but let me understand. Which, which one did you say you saw online? Is it the one, uh, because there may be several ones now, is it the one reported by Premium Times you saw? Yes, the one reported by Premium Times. So why, is, why do you say that uh, the NYC cannot make that kind of mistake in terms of I've the signature you, by I've Bomoy? I've told, you, I've told you there are two things there, generally. NYC cannot say you are exempted as a result of age when you are less than 30. That's number one. Number two, the signature on that, uh, that paper that I saw, the person was no longer the DG sitting at that time. And we don't make such mistakes. Mm. We don't make such mistakes, yes.